to be. Mm -hmm. Okay, Matt, uh, so you, you cited uh, Exodus chapter 6, uh, where um, Elohim appears to, um, uh, to Moses, and he says, by my name, Yahweh, I was not known to Abraham. Are you familiar with the fact that in uh, Genesis chapter 19, Abraham actually calls on the name of, uh, of Yahweh? It's like, you know, Abraham made something that we might call a pizza today. And, and Moses, uh, you know, um, represents Abraham as saying, here, honey, come, I've made you this nice pizza. Um, wouldn't that be a sort of misrepresentation of what Abraham actually said? Can you explain Exodus 6.3 in reference to Genesis 22.14? Yeah. What is Zinir explaining with? Let me share so with what I can think of it, he is referring to uh, Yahweh and Abraham not knowing the name of Yahweh. So Genesis 6.3 is, I appeared to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob as God Almighty. But by my name, the Lord Yahweh, I did not make myself known to them. This is Exodus 6.3, Genesis 22.14. So Abraham called the name of the place the Yahweh will provide as it is said to this day on the mount of the Lord it shall be provided. So I think she's referring to... So it's contradiction. Yeah. It's the contradiction. Uh, because you need to think deeply about what it means to know. What does it mean to know? in the bible to know meaning to know the and to know the person to know him fully exactly intimately, to know intimately so. you got it you guys got answered it's not they don't know of the name that has no go to exodus 10 verses 1 and 2 see how the word know is used exodus 10, 10 verses 1 and 2 now the lord said to moses go in through pharaoh for I have hardened his heart and the hearts of his servants, that I may show these signs of mine before him, and that you may tell in the hearing of your son and your son's son the mighty things I have done in Egypt and my signs which I have done among them. Uh, so what does it mean that they may know? That may tell in the hearing of the sons and your sons' sons that mighty things that I have done in Egypt. My signs which I have done among them that you may know that I am the Lord. Yep. So him, what does it mean? Know him by... Can I add know him by his works and by yeah, his doings words, and by his power? Uh, I mean signs and wonders so you can know the reality of the God that you worship. And you can know the characteristics of this God firsthand, personally, and intimately. So it's not simply abstraction. You know there's a God. No, it's knowing him truly, knowing him intimately, <clears throat> seeing God act and manifesting his characteristics like through the signs he did. So knowing in the Bible isn't just mental assent. This is why people are getting confused because you keep thinking, oh, they didn't know that word, Yahweh. That is a surface level way of reading the Bible. No, biblically doesn't mean, oh, I know the name Yahweh, or I know that Jesus. No, that, that's not knowing in the biblical sense, right? Go to 1 Samuel 3, 6 to 7. Right? Uh, okay, I'm going Samuel to. Samuel 3, 6 to 7. Three. 7. And it says. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord, nor was the word of the Lord yet revealed to him. Oh. Say it again. He did not know who? The Lord, Yahweh, nor was the word of the Lord yet revealed to him. How did he not know the Lord? He was raised among the Israelites who were taught. Yeah, and he, yeah, and Lord was talking to him. Yeah. Right. So, but it says he had not yet known the Lord. Awesome. See, so it's just thinking more deeply about 
what the Bible means with the use of knowing, right? To know, or, you know, like in the case with Hebrews, how is it that these sacrifices do not take away sin? And yet the apostles who knew that still went up to the temple and observed the sacrificial ceremonies. So think more deeply. If the apostles are the ones who tell us that the sacrifices do not take away sin, and yet they're still observing the sacrificial ceremonies, then that means they are observing them with the illumination understanding these sacrifices were a reminder of what was to take place. And that reminder, that reality has been fulfilled. So we observe them with that understanding that they are pointing us to the one who has come and who could do what these sacrifices could not do. So that's easy. The other one that, you know, they did not know me by Yahweh. Well, instead of assuming they didn't know the word Yahweh, number one, what does it mean to know God? Well, it means to know him truly, to know him as a reality, and to know his nature. That's number one. Now, number two, then that means the name Yahweh is a name that tells us something about his nature. So what does Yahweh tell us about his nature? What does Elohim tell us about his nature? What does Eel tell us about his nature? What does El Shaddai? See, the names of God convey characteristics of God. So the serious student of the Bible, the one who truly wants to know God, and love him as he is, as he's revealed himself, must then understand why God has given us these different names. What is he trying to teach us about his character and giving us different names? After all, if he didn't want you to know something about his nature by giving you a multitude of names, then he could have just gave you one name and stuck with it. Right? Right. I'll give you another example. Why was Jesus called Jesus? Because it, he's Yeshua, which is Yahweh saves. See, the name Jesus is supposed to tell you something about him. So the name Jesus isn't given simply so he can have a name. It's given so you can know something about his nature, his characteristics, and his function. So when it says, they did not know me by my name, Yahweh, it's not they didn't know that name. They did not see what that name conveyed, the reality of the name Yahweh. What does Yahweh tell us about God? Well, they didn't see the fulfillment of what the name Yahweh conveys about the nature of God. So it's supposed to tell us something about him. So did the patriarchs experience the reality of what the name Yahweh conveys about the nature of God? No, they didn't, because Yahweh is the covenant name of God, the covenant-keeping God. So God made a covenant, but they never saw the fulfillment of the covenant. So who experienced the reality of the name Yahweh? Yahweh is the name of the personal God of Israel who keeps his covenant promises.